This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. In this video, we're going to talk about the negative angle identities. And I'm going to first start out talking about what they look like, real briefly. And then in the following section, I'm going to derive the sine identity. And the following one after that, derive the cosine identity. And then finally, the tangent identity. All right, let's get started. All right, so I've placed the negative angle identities there on the screen, and uh, I want you to see that sine and tangent are really similar. If you were to find, like, let's say the, um, get my colors right. Let's say if you were going to find the sine of a negative 30 degree angle, uh, this is really just going to be the sine is it's, it's like finding the sine of a 30 degree angle, but you'll just take the opposite of it. So if you know how to find the sine of 30, you could find the sine of negative 30. Uh, and the same thing is true for tangent. Like if you wanted the tangent of uh, negative 60 degrees, well, it's the same thing as the tangent of 60, except you take the opposite of it. So if you know anything about your unit circle or if you could make a reference triangle, easy peasy, right? Okay, uh, let's try cosine. Now, cosine is an interesting uh, kind of problem. If you want to find the cosine of negative 120 degrees, it's just the same thing as if you had a positive angle. Okay, so it's really simple to do. Um, it's simple to evaluate these negative angle problems using these identities. Okay, so let's get into the next sections where I'm going to prove why these uh, identities are the way they are. So I took the liberty of moving the formulas, putting them right there. Okay, now um, let's take a look at an old formula. And you could see this formula over here, which is called the uh, sum and difference identity, or sometimes even called a formula. Um, and I'm going to use this. So this is a uh, well-known relationship that exists and I'm going to use it to prove the negative angle identity for sine. Okay, so if we know anything about a little bit of algebra, I'm going to take sine and I'm going to take uh, 0 minus theta and I'm going to use this formula. Now the way this works of course is sine cosine cosine sine and now you just plug in your 0, theta, 0, theta in that order. And the way this works, if you look at the plus signs here, if this is a minus, then this is a minus, right? They correspond according to the relationships we see here. So let's evaluate. Well, first of all, I know that 0 minus theta is the opposite of theta which is what I wanted to show over here. All right, now let's evaluate this. What's the sine of zero? If you know anything, again, like about a unit circle, you know the sine of zero is zero. What's the cosine of theta? Depends on theta. Uh, okay, what's the cosine of zero? Cosine of zero, and of course, I am referring to zero degrees, right? As if it matters. It could be radians, huh? So I guess it doesn't have to be degrees, right? So I'm not forced into the degree mode. It could be either. Um, cosine of zero is one. And what's the sine of theta? Depends on theta. Well, the point is that zero times anything is just zero. What am I left with? I'm left with a minus one times sine of theta, which is minus sine of theta. And there you go. I've got the first one done. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's march on to cosine. All right, let's move on to cosine. So we've got the cosine sum and difference formula or identity, depending on how you're looking at it. And we're going to use it to prove the uh, negative identity there, negative angle identity. So again, this is really similar to the last problem. I'm going to say I've got zero degrees, radians, eh, work in radians, uh, minus theta. And this one's a little bit different. This one's cosine, cosine. 
sine sine. Filling in the uh, angles, I got zero, theta, zero, theta. If this is a minus, this is the opposite. It's plus. Okay, so let's evaluate. Zero minus theta is the opposite of theta, which is what I wanted right here. Uh, kind of clever. Cosine of uh, zero is one. Cosine of theta depends on the theta. Sine of zero is zero. Got to know something about your unit circle here. Sine of theta depends on theta. So I got to leave that there. Okay, so one times cosine is just cosine. Zero times anything is zero, so this term disappears, and there you go. I've got my second negative angle identity. March on. Let's march on to tangent. Okay, so this is going to require a little bit of expertise. Meh. Me just being able to write small. Okay, remember sine over cosine is equal to tangent. So what am I going to do? I'm using both of them at the same time. Sine, cosine, cosine, sine is the relationship for the... Um, boy, that's messy. Okay, so that is the relationship for the uh, sum and difference. And for the cosine, you've got cosine, cosine, sine, sine. Boy, if this seems like a repeat from the last problem, oh, it is. Okay, except I'm now mashing the two uh, ideas together. Zero theta, zero theta. For the sine, whatever this sine is, it matches. For cosine, this sine will always be the opposite. Okay, so what is this numerator equal to? It's equal to the sine of negative theta. What's this denominator? It's the cosine of negative theta. Okay, what's this? Remember, sine of uh, zero is zero. Uh, and let's see, cosine of zero is one. And getting better with that straight line. Cosine of zero is one. And let's see, sine is zero. Okay, now it's clear I need a lot more space here. So what I'm gonna do is move the other way, the other correct way. I'm gonna give myself a little bit more room. Okay, well, let's take a look at this. Sine uh, over cosine is equal to tangent of whatever the argument, as long as these arguments match. Okay, what's the numerator? All of this is zero, so I get minus one times sine, that's minus sine. All right, what's all this? This is a cosine of theta, but this is zero, so it's just a cosine of theta. All right, almost done. Matter of moments now. Sine over cosine is equal to tangent. And I've got the minus sign. And there you go. I've proven it. I need the back up just a hair. Get this back where we can see the relationships. And you can see it right there. Verified. Okay, so make sure you, I appreciate if you do, uh, like the video. And, of course, subscribe to the video. Also, make sure you go back to mathguide.com. Check out our text-based lessons, our interactive quizzes, and our instructional videos. Take care.